Hello, my name is Chris Bennett, and this is a presentation to a key group of people regarding a opportunity to fulfill uh, some of your dreams and mine too. Uh, ones which I've been working on for a long time, and I know that you have also. So, Chip and Joanna, it says right in here Bridge Building Summit. Tweet me at Chip Gaines with any ideas you may have for the Bridge Building Summit we're working on. We want to hear about the things you feel passionate about and your thoughts on the topic of bridge building in general. Where does the divide affect you personally? When do you feel unheard, unseen, or undervalued? What are you afraid of about the direction we're headed in? What do you think can heal this country, this planet? So, um, this is critical. So, briefly, here's the critical items that I want to go through in this video. Um, in addition, Willie Nelson, his daughter Amy, had a dream 10 years ago about a song about world peace. And then she and her father wrote the song. And they sang it, and then they created a foundation, the Willie Nelson World Peace Foundation. And the group that came together, Liz O'Garvey and Jay Greathouse, they brought together all their own research that they pulled from other researchers on the causes of violence. And in addition, the same factors being the cause of physical and all kinds of illnesses. So... And what, what is the cure? So it got didn't get completely funded, but I want to talk about how that relates to each one of the items that I'm briefly mentioning. <clears throat> so Chuck Norris, uh, in his book here, he talked about in Black Belt Patriotism, I went to school with his two sons, Eric and Mike, it says, America's biggest threat of all the terrorists perching on our borders, those that penetrate the barriers of our body are still our greatest threat and cause the highest number of casualties, roughly 2 million per year. Every year, over 750,000 American, 750, Americans die from cardiovascular disease, 550,000 from cancer, and 450,000 from smoking. So he said if uh, that was like an airliner, I think it's 5,500 a day, uh, airliner crashing, they would be bending over backwards to fix the problem, but it's not happening. So, and uh, we're going to look at why in, in, when we look in further detail. So what else? John Paul de Joria. Um, one of my friends and business partners in these projects, Sherry Reed, she had a vision 30 or 40 years ago. She got so sick because of terrible medical care that she died and they had to revive her. And during that experience, she saw a vision of global healing and through post-traumatic stress programs being freely available all over the world. And so she's been working on that ever since, and especially the last 10 years. She already has a loc location in Texas. She wrote her autobi autobiography. Then she had a second death experience as a result of terrible medical care. Maybe a few years later, horrific experience. And, uh, and had another vision of similar nature, that it was her life's mission. So, um, but it hasn't happened yet. So, um, she's a friend of John Paul de Joria. She's already talked to him about this. He has her book, I'm sure. And John Paul de Joria did a TED talk, which is very, very important to health. And I'll get to, get to that in a minute. Uh, the fifth item is Tracy Reiner. So I was working with her on working with her. 
So we were just in serious discussions. Uh, I thought they were serious. She was serious enough to talk to me. And uh, that was eight or ten years ago. And we were going to create a health reality show to show the country a better way. And she had already worked on the same idea with Maria Dorfner, who's a very experienced uh, health TV producer. She worked at NBC for a long time. And so they created an idea for a health reality show. And that's what I want to talk about in this video, is how to make that happen and why it's a matter of life and death, why it's very important. So right behind me is my own family. And... Um, They've been getting treated like dogs by the medical system for 20 years, especially. And um, it's not right. And it's happened to all of us, probably. And we've also had good experiences. And that's what makes this is such a challenging issue, is that we have good experiences and we want to think that things are going well. But then we see problems and then we hear stories and so let me tell you a story of that has me just unable to sleep at night for the last few days. So my father is in bad shape. He was a professor of medicine at UCLA for 35 years. And I don't know if Chuck Norris remembers him because there was an incident where my brother had to pull Eric off of me when we were in grade school. Um, and so he may have heard about it from his brother. But... Um, we lived in the same neighborhood. We went to the same school. Eric and Mike, uh, what was it? Rolling Hill, no, no. Um, Rancho Vista in Palos Verdes. So uh, my father wrote this book years later. And here he is. He was a pioneer for many reasons. Here he is. Here's a picture of him. He was the founder of the UCLA, Harbor UCLA, dialysis clinic and uh, there he is receiving one of the first machines so those things work to extend people's lives but then they have to get a lot of other things which often are not getting paid for um, but that's the key, key issue is that my father learned and that I learned working with him for the last 20 years is that we're not getting what we need and we're seeing our family suffer and if it's not happening to you yet, take heed because it will. That's what we all have in common in America is that we have to go through the healthcare system. And so what I'm doing, it's right now, I'm asking you to share this message with Chip and Joanna Gaines through the grapevine so they get this and I need to help in saving my dad and my aunt right now like within a couple days, like we're going to launch this show. It can accomplish everything you talked about. So what you're talking about here, you need a TV show to accomplish this, a bridge building summit in a TV show, not live. We'll probably film it and then edit it and make it perfect. Um, but just, it can be done really, really fast. It can be done in a few days, it can be done in a week. Um, but I'm asking you to bring the team together so that we can save my mom and my save my dad and save my aunt so my dad was a doctor for 50 years he was a professor of medicine at ucla for 35 years he healed many people he was the founding medical director of the pritikin longevity center which is the longest profitable healthy living program in the world of its kind and it's now in a trump owned hotel on miami beach not owned by trump owned by a bush associate President Bush, a billionaire, who bought it and then forced the family out with uh, fraudulent, fraudulently. Um, that's another story, though. But the end result is, and I'm going to get into this in the next section when I get into detail, is that our family members are not getting what they need. My aunt is now in very serious condition, days or weeks away from dying. And she might need to go into the hospital tonight with stage four cancer and unable to eat. It's looking bad. My father is in bad shape back in California. He's gotten terrible medical care, but we can turn it all around together. I'm going to get into that next. Stay tuned.